What's up everybody? Kramzer here, coming at you with an album review. We're talking about Blonde Redhead's new release, Sit Down for Dinner. This is their first album since 2014. I'm the big uh, Blonde Redhead guy on the channel. They won album for the year for me in 2004 with Misery as a Butterfly. I really like that run they had with that and 23 and the few albums preceding those. If you don't know Blonde Redhead, they've had a pretty cool career. They started off really like avant-garde, noise rock, noise pop kind of deal. Then they got a little bit more melodic, brought in a lot of shoegaze and dream pop kind of elements. I don't really care for the two albums before this, before their big nine-year break or so, because um, they got a little bit out of their comfort zone. They kind of just tried some new sounds, some Baroque kind of stuff that didn't really work for me. But let's get to it with this new one. I think it was kind of a really good thing for them to step away and come back. The lead singer did release a solo album at one point, which I never got around to listening to. But just getting the space away from, you know, pumping out these albums made them come back to this sound um, which is very much like their core sound, but it's different enough naturally just because they haven't touched it in so many years. Um, so I think just that natural break really helped them kind of redo their sound in a real, like, organic kind of way. This album's kind of playing tribute to classic indie rock, like Neutral Milk Hotel, a little bit of The Shins, Yola Tango, not quite as much as, like, their albums that are kind of their dream pop shoegaze, like Hero Alludes. But I like how this album opens with a song called Snowman, really cool. There's not like as much intensity to their sound as there usually is, which is nice. And I think that almost, I haven't quite decided yet, but I think it almost makes it their most accessible album. Like if you're getting into Blonde Redhead for the first time, this could possibly be the first one to take on. But the second song is the best song in the album, Kiss Her, Kiss Her, really cool. I think that they are at their best when they have a cool alternative, odd and ferocious shoegaze rock kind of vibe. And this one is a lot more mellow than that. But Kiss Her Kiss Her kind of reminds me of that vibe a little bit. It has like that cool alien-like quality to it. Kind of reminds me of like the Smashing Pumpkins adore with that really robust sound. Um, and then they bring in that twinkle of like their dollhouse, childlike weary and wonder. Then you get a song like Not For Me, really nice and casual, reminds me heavily of like Belle and Sebastian or some mellow Yola Tango stuff, and casual is the right name for this album. It doesn't have that like weird intensity and electricity that most of the stuff that I really love has by them. It's probably the sunniest, warmest, and easiest listen in their whole catalog. Um, song Melody Experiment is really cool and groovy and stylish. Nothing really new genre-wise with them or, you know, rhythmically. It's just kind of a new approach, a more mature, just relaxed kind of sound. Um, the song Rest of Her Life is gorgeous, has major Mazzy Star kind of vibes. Then you get the title tracks, parts one and two, um, which has like a really nice underwater whimsy to it. Kind of adds some of their more traditional dream pop flavor. And then the song I Thought You Should Know is really pretty, has this really nice enchanting, misty production to it. And then, however, I do think they saved their most uneventful material for the last three tracks, including a pretty much mostly instrumental closer, um, which makes it a little bit me less memorable. I've got this album at 3.5 stars. I think it's very good. I don't think it's great. I think other than Kiss Her, Kiss Her, it's really missing like a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of some more really memorable tracks, things you need. But overall, it is really good. Um, I think it's refreshing just kind of getting a different Blonde Redhead album without it being the wrong Blonde Redhead sound, which I think is the problem with the two albums before this. So if you like Blonde Redhead already, it's definitely going to make you happy. And if you don't know Blonde Redhead, I think it is kind of a good starter album for them. So anyway, if you've listened to Sit Down for Dinner, let us know in the comments what you think of it. Let us know what you think about Blonde Redhead in general. It's an album, or I'm sorry, it's a band that I would like to talk about a lot more about on the channel. Maybe we'll get to their listography one day, but check it out. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and check us out on Patreon. Don't forget to give us support there, and uh, we'll see you next time. Rams are over and out.